Hey, Hi. Andrew. Hi. Hi, Hi Andrew. Jessica. No. I have two questions. First, so like, how would you get your voices for your characters? Because like Hot Rod, the only other voice he had was Judd Nelson, and I think, and I don't think Windblade ever had a voice before you. So there was the voices. There was one in Rescue Bots, I think, but um, I I don't I guess I just kind of did my voice, but like a deeper, sassier version um, for the audition, um, and they liked it, and so they just kind of directed me the same. I didn't really have an inspiration but i did use my imagination when i was auditioning oh that's a good voiceover uh advice note when you're playing a part and they give you lines you have to like be creative like who are you mm -hmm. talking to what's going on is there fire happening like if it's like everyone get out of the way you're not like everyone get out of the way you're like <laughs> everyone get out of the way you know you have to like and you look like <laughs> We all did it when we were kids, you know? But, like, and you look like a psychopath. If somebody had a camera on you in the booth, they think you were crazy. But, like, that's what you got to do. You're usually, like, sweating by the end of the session. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, ditto, actually. Like, it, it's pretty close to my voice. And, and, and exactly what you said, you just you add the circumstances and some energy and intention on top of that. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to alter things a little bit, probably. It's going to end up being something just a little different. Um, uh, yeah. And, oh, but to follow up, you know, so much, so much influence comes in from what you watched as a kid too. You know, you said you mm -hmm. watched stuff and you would, you would imitate and you know, that kind of, you kind of take that along with you. And I, I realized that after getting, getting this and, you know, engaging with all of you and, um, going back and watching some of the shows that I watched as a kid. I was a Beast Wars fan as a kid. I was seven when it came out, and so that was my show. Yeah. yeah. But I, I look back and I listen to, like, Ian James's Cheetor, and, and, I, and I hear some of that and what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And so it's like some of these things end up in your DNA, you know? Even if it's just your voice, you're taking, you're taking bits and pieces from the stuff that came before. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Next, so... Um, First, you said you watched Beast Wars. Like, yeah. How do you feel about Cheetor being in Beast Wars? I was thrilled. I was so excited, like to be part of Team Hot Rod. It was really <laughs> cool. <laughs> Next, like, how did you? I asked you earlier. You said you recorded the show separately. So, like, mm -hmm. how were you able to, like, I guess, bounce off of the other actors? Because it was very impressive, considering you weren't together, like Beast Wars and Transformers animated were. Yeah. Um. Um. You know, it's same. Oh, I almost ate the microphone. Did you see that? I was like, ah, oh. um, that was so weird. Um, you know, same with the audition, you know, so except, you know, you're in a booth and there's a director outside. So our director was Lauren and, and she would give us, um, you know, if she didn't get what she wanted, she'd, she'd be like, okay, now, you know, give this a little more um, urgency. You know, you're running away from blah, blah, blah. She'd give us some context because we're not reading through the entire script in order. We're skipping through just to our lines. So also in my head, I would, I would hear my version of what I thought, you know, what Bumblebee sounded like and what he was saying. And I would use my imagination of like what he was doing. And you just have to, <laughs> like when you were a kid, you just have to picture the person there and really get your point across to air, you know, <laughs> but that's, that's how I did it. Did you, I, I don't know if you meant, sorry. And initially you, what, how it usually you do it is you say the line three times, they'll record, you say it three times and like. Jess said our director Lauren um, would then have notes if she does, but say it three times. And a lot of times she, it seemed like she was picking takes right on the spot. She'd be like, B, C, you know. It's like ABC. Yeah. Like three takes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you do it completely different to like give them some choices. Yeah. yeah. And, and then want... they put, do all the magic and edit it together. I want to congratulate you for getting to be the only Transformers since the original to get a fourth season. Yeah. I, so, did you did you know about? I didn't really know about this and uh, like before talking with fans. Apparently, there's like a season three curse thing with a, like a lot of the shows. A lot of them, uh, what they 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 end at season three. Is that what it is? Yeah. And so it was looking Why? like we were gonna fall to that, and then we got that fourth. You and know, then we didn't. Hey. Woo! Yeah. So. We should have a fifth and a sixth and a seventh and an I, eighth I and a wish. ninth and a tenth I season. Wish. Some crossovers. Oh, yeah. I would be into it. Me too. Thank you so much, Thank Andrew. You, Andrew. It was good to see you. Hey, Val. Hey, Val. Hi, <laughs> Hi Ann. Um, 
I have two actually. Um, one <laughs> quick fun one and then one cyberverse specific one. Um, first one, what will your cyberverse characters order at a Starbucks? Okay. I feel like Windblade would be too busy and too preoccupied with the AllSpark to order anything at Starbucks ever. She'd be like, yeah, she would just be rushing everyone through the line to be like, you guys, we got to go. We have a mission. Yeah. So nothing. No, you're right. Air. You're right. You're right. Um, iced coffee with some oat milk. Uh, <laughs> even in the dead of winter. <laughs> Um, cause that's what I do. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay. Second one. Um, what's your favorite line in Cyberverse? Oh. Hey, those flames are looking good. <laughs> and, and, um, oh my God. Okay. Um, what was it? Um, <laughs> okay. Remember the quintessence, uh, quintessen scientist with all the sound, sound waves. Mm-hmm. Why would he collect sound waves and not hot rods? <laughs> Probably like anything Cosmos said. I just love Cosmos so much. So any, anything that Cosmos said are my favorite lines. <laughs> Can we just take a second to appreciate Windblade, RC, and Cosmos? <laughs> That's yeah, you know. Yeah. You can do different voices too. Iconic. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Travis. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Val. Val. Hey, Wyatt. Hey. Hey, guys. You going to Grimoff's party later? Wyatt gave me this Grim pin. <laughs> I'm wearing the pin that Wyatt gave me. Super did, did cool. Did you hear what he said? Wait, no, what'd you say? You going to Grimlock's party later? <laughs> uh, duh. <laughs> I was thinking I, about it. I had a question, but I think Andrew asked something pretty similar. So I'm going to go on a different track. I was wondering, in your performances, were there any cues you took from your character's design? Because Windblade That's a good and Hot Rod are both, you know, very iconic. You instantly recognize mm. them. So was there anything you took when you got, like, the character references? You're like, oh, I think this person would do this sort of performance. Totally. My honest answer is maybe no. That's fair. Because... I When I got the audition... Because a lot of what I based, what I en ended up doing at the show was from my audition, mm. you know, and I initially got Hot Rod, Soundwave, and Teletran X for my initial st audition stuff. And I, I mean, I probably did look up, I mean, I, yeah, I, I, I was familiar, looked up the G1 design, but again, I was, a, I was a Beast Wars kid. So I wasn't, it wasn't like super present in my mind at the time. And I, Oh, no, I guess no. Now that I'm saying it, because then I watch, then I then I caught up in the middle between the audition and the yes and no, yes and no. And I don't did they did they release our like our character designs before we recorded? Like I, I got they, it, I got it before, but I asked, but I asked for it. Oh, see, you're smarter than me. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> do, do you remember? Does anyone remember if they released how far in advance they released those like? The images that they they had like a website and they put on those images because it would depend on how far before that because if if not, I didn't see the cyberverse version I saw the G one version yeah so about a year and two months before the actual first episode premiere a year and two months I probably probably would have started already yes a little a, a little bit of column A a little bit of column B I'd say yes in the sense that it it helps me know. Like the the references from the older designs helped me helped give me a sense of like how much energy to kind of fill fill the character with. And yes, yes, and <laughs> after doing the first season and watching the episodes, it helped actually inform me how f much further I could go with the character. Very long answer. <laughs> say, sort of. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I love this question. And yes, I, I definitely was. And I <clears throat> remember I was talking to the designers uh, uh, about it, and they had said, like, they're, they were changing the design. They gave her less of a high heel, give her more of a grounded foot, you know. And so I definitely used that um, in how I held my body when I was recording. So my, my feet were, you know, kind of like I was... <laughs> I was really planted when I was recording her and my 
my chest was out, kind of like how she stands with her wings. So like when I when I would do it, my voice would come from that place. And you know, in acting class, we learn that all the time that your body informs the character a lot. And hi, everybody. Hey. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, so it definitely did for me, yeah, and that, that is how I found her voice for a lot of it, too, yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Wyatt. Thanks, Thank you, guys. Wyatt. Thank you. Yeah. Everyone having a good time. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <clears throat>